basically going out to the straight. So 7.3 knots. So look out behind us. Got the rod out with the trolling rig. Oh yeah. I'm gonna catch a massive wahoo. <laughs> Optimistic. Yeah, the conditions aren't bad really. Probably 50, good 15 knots. Bit of chop, but we haven't been we haven't been wet yet, have we? So. Pretty comfortable. Can we get out there just to tank away mum? Straight off the bow. And then we'll have Well we'll probably have to have lunch before we get there I suppose. Try to have lunch. Looking out to why uh, South Passage Bar. Ah, nice quick ride today. There's the big and little sand hills. Oh, the rain. Okay, so. Sunset over Tangaluma.
Queensland, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Just at the end of Morton Island now. just uh, arrived at Bulwa day two of the trip and it's pretty rolly here. We sailed up to Kumbiro Point this morning. A lot of tide going through there. Just having a look at what route we might be taking on the way home. Um, so yeah, it looks like we've looked at the maps and we look like we can see how we're gonna get out of here tomorrow. Sail back around the outside, just give you a quick look around. Over there, 
salmon's already swimming in the wrecks. I'm gonna jump in now. Well, uh, Thursday morning now. Looks like 10 knots in the morning, 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon, and uh, we're gonna head out now through there. There's a little small passage that goes around them, northern tip uh, of Morton. And we'll sail for a few nautical miles and we're around Cape Morton and start making our way down. Leroy's just on the anchor. Boat's ready to go. Should be a good day. Bull by Rex over there. Just making our way up now. We're probably going to mow it around, but just have the sails ready to hoist. In case we have engine failure, we have to go through a fairly narrow gap, I think, up here from what we've seen on the charts. Northern tip, northwestern tip of Morton Island. Hopefully, it should be a really good day sail. I think we'll probably the estimate is currently we get in, I think around 8:30 at night. So I guess it depends where the wind's coming from, how strong it ends up blowing, as to how accurate that'll be. Out we go. Surrounding Cape Morton. Not a lot of wind out here at the moment. Go for a run! I don't know the braking strain of any of that gear. Um, or you're not. The surgeon tonight, it could cost lives or save lives. Depends who ties it. Just some, uh, some fish and chips. <sighs> Just rounding tip of North Strab right now. And wind, wind's picked up a bit, doing 6.6 .6 knots on a full main in Genoa. Oh uh, yeah. We had to have a bit of a detour for an hour while uh, Uncle Lee hooked a monster of the deep. There we go. It's looking down towards the Gold Coast. Can't see much with the Genoa in the way, but...
sailing downwind towards the Gold Coast. Nice day out here. Seen a lot of pods of dolphins, uh, flying fish. Uh, I think it's blowing around 10 knots now. And we're doing 7 knots. And the Gold Coast is just above my finger. I can just see the queue line. So I think we'll be there uh, in another three or four hours. Which is before dark, which would be nice. <clears throat> Finding it hard to stay hydrated. Uh, I'm sitting out in the sun all day and now I'm just letting the autopilot do some work. Anyway. You just look around at the scenery, but we cooked up some eggs and sausages for lunch, which was good. And I've had some tuna and uh, peanuts and beef jerky, so I've had a decent amount of food. Under the boom there, that's North Stradbroke Island. Two hours out from the seaway now. Just checked the tower, apparently it's 11 knots at the moment. We're going on around five and a half to six knots. Five and a half to six and a half knots, maybe. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna be getting, maybe getting them around on dark. I think we'll still have enough light to see okay. We're just going to go stay at wave break for the night and pull the boat out in the morning. Having a good time out here though.
wives as I come towards you. But, uh, yeah, no, it was great. Very great time. Well, I, I think Leah was saying sick for half a day. So not sure how he went, but, uh, I had a great time anyway.